In this second video, let us discuss data level sharing for tracker programs. The same new sharing settings that appeared for tracked entity types are now also available for tracker programs as of 229. Let us discuss what these different options allow us to do in relation to tracker programs. We can first review the CanView data sharing setting for tracker programs. By sharing a tracker program with a user or user group with the data can view data setting, this will allow them to search for tracked entities within a program, see tracked entity attributes specific to a program, see enrollment details for the program, and see the enrollment notes. Note that there is a close relationship between tracked entity types and tracker programs when discussing the data can view data sharing setting. In order to perform the functions associated with the can view data sharing setting within a program, at minimum, the CanView data sharing setting for the tracked entity type which the program uses must also be applied for the same users or user groups accessing the program. The user must also have the associated authorities within their user role in order to interact with the tracker program in the intended manner. If we use the WHO RMNCH program to demonstrate what a user, part of the Reproductive Health Manager's user group can do, we can see that they can perform the functions that we have described. This includes searching for tracked entities within this program, seeing the tracked entity attribute data specific within a program, see the enrollment details for the program, and see notes for the enrollment. Note that this sharing is now program specific. Even if there are other programs that use the person entity type, if I have not shared these with the user, I cannot search them or see the attribute values associated with them. This is where the relationship between tracked entity type and program becomes important. We can also use the can capture data sharing setting for tracker programs. By sharing a tracker program with a user or user group, Using the data can capture data setting, this will allow them to enroll entities into the program, edit enrollment details for the program, complete and reopen enrollments into the program, add notes for the program, edit relationships, send messages, and delete enrollments within the program. We can note that several of these items overlap with permissions granted for a tracked entity type. However, there is a differentiation between a tracked entity type and a program. As mentioned for the data can view data sharing setting for programs, a close relationship similarly exists for the data can capture data sharing setting for programs and tracked entity types. As an example, if I want to register new tracked entities associated with a specific program, I will need the data can capture data sharing setting applied to users or user groups for both the tracked entity type as well as the program itself. It is also critical that the user authorities assigned to these users have the proper permissions in order to perform these functions. If we have now applied the data can capture data setting to the Reproductive Health Nurses user group for the program, in addition to the functions granted by the data can view data sharing setting, the data can capture data setting allows the users within this group to enroll new entities into this program, complete and reopen enrollments for the program, add notes for the program, edit relationships, send messages, as well as delete enrollments for the program. As you can see, many of these functions overlap with what is available with the tracked entity type. The specific program must be shared with the users or user groups interacting with the program using a particular tracked entity type in order for these functions to work correctly. In our example, we are looking at the WHO RMNCH tracker program, which uses an entity of person. In order for a user to be able to perform these different functions, both the tracked entity type as well as the program must be shared with that particular user. This relationship extends to program stages as well which we will discuss in the next video in this series. If there are any questions on the concepts related to tracker program data level sharing, please do not hesitate to let us know.